many Pokemon trainers ask the question, just what is in a pack of Pokemon cards? Well, this video will serve as your guide to the rarities as we clearly define just what is in a pack of Pokemon cards. Whether you've been an avid collector since the 90s or you're just getting started, there are some fundamentals to opening packs that it helps to be aware of. If you were to head out and buy a couple boosters, what's in store for you? The modern era booster packs of Pokemon cards can be purchased in three main ways. As single booster packs, in multi-packs or included as part of special premium collectors, or gift packs in booster boxes, which contain 36 booster packs. Each booster pack of Pokemon cards contains 10 cards and one basic energy card. So we know what the rarities are, but how do they appear in a booster pack of Pokemon cards? A guide to rarities. Before we open a booster pack to see what's on offer, it's important to go over the rarities available in a pack. The rarities are as follows. Common, Uncommon, Rare, Hollow Rare, Hollow Rare V or GX, Hollow Rare V Max, Ultra Rare, Rainbow Rare, Secret Rare, Amazing Rare, Character Cards, Prism Star Cards. That's a lot of rarities. Let's break it down to better understand them all. The first rarities are fairly self-explanatory. Commons, uncommons, and rares are exactly that. You'll encounter them less often in packs as the rarity level increases. Holo rares are distinct from rares and feature the art in the background of the card foiled out. From set to set, this foiling can change, but it's always the background art that's foiled out. It's important to note here that regular rares can never occur as holo rares. All of these initial rarities can show up as reverse hollow rares in what's known as the parallel set. The parallel set comprises every card that is available in common, uncommon, rare, and hollow rare, but instead finished with the reverse hollow treatment. It's a really cool effect that gives the frame and background of the card a foil treatment while leaving the art itself alone in a matte finish. Next up, we have Hollow Rare V cards. Like GX cards and EX cards, these are splashy, powerful Pokemon that come in a foiled card with a distinct art style. A common misconception is to call these cards Ultra Rares, though they show up less often and are, in a way, quote unquote, Ultra Rare, that is not their official designation. Hollow Rare VMAX cards and Mega Evolution EX cards also feature at this rarity, though it's debated that regular VMAX cards are slightly harder to find. Ultra Rares feature full art Pokemon and trainers and are harder to find than their regular counterparts. You know you've opened one when you open a card with art that fills the card inside the frame. And often these cards also have a textured finish which you can feel as you run your finger over the card. It's a small feature, but many people really love the tactile finish. Now, that covers the rares that you can find documented in official set lists, but there are cards rarer still that drop every so often. The first of these is the Rainbow Rare. These can take the form of a Pokemon GX, Pokemon VMAX, and Trainer cards. You'll know you've opened a Rainbow Rare when you see the metallic rainbow effect finish and the stylized illustration. The other card type outside the set list is the Secret Rare. The Secret Rares most commonly come in the form of metallic gold finished cards and have done for quite some time. They have a similar textured finish to full arts, but feature a stunningly luxurious gold finish. Secret Rares can feature other card types too. A classic Secret Rare is the Shiny Pokemon, the equivalent of the alternate color 1 in 4096 chance of obtaining a rare pocket monster in the video games. Thankfully, these are more common than that, but still pretty hard to find. Finally, there are a number of rares that tend to change between sets. These rares can be found in the parallel rare slot, replacing a reverse hollow card. They can be cards within a main set, in the case of Prism Star cards, or amazing rares. Or they can be secret rares like the character cards from Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. All right, so we know what the rarities are, but just how do they appear in a booster pack of Pokemon cards? 
What's in a booster pack? Let's open a booster pack to see exactly what's on offer. The composition of a pack of Pokemon cards is as follows. Five commons, a parallel reverse slot, a rare slot, an energy slot, three uncommons, and of course the code card, which you can redeem online for a digital pack of Pokemon cards. The first cards in the pack are always five common cards. For the most part, these are always Pokemon cards, though in rare cases, a set will have common trainer cards. Next up, we have the reverse slot, also known as the parallel rare slot. This slot is the first of two slots in the pack that can contain some of the rarest cards in the set. The majority of the time, this slot contains a reverse hollow card from the parallel set. However, this slot can also contain prism star cards, character cards, or in the case of vivid voltage, amazing rares. After the reverse slot comes the rare slot. The rare slot contains either a regular rare, a hollow rare, or in some cases, a Pokemon V or Pokemon V Max. On rarer occasions, it can have a full art ultra rare card, and on rarer occasions still, it can contain a rainbow rare or a secret rare card. That's a lot of power packed into that one little slot. Please note, if you hit a reverse hollow rare or even an amazing rare in the parallel slot, that won't stop you from opening any of the other rare cards in the rare slot. It is entirely possible to get double rare packs. Nice. After the rare slot, we get a basic energy card. From Sword and Shield onwards, the basic energy are Grass Energy, Fire Energy, Water Energy, Lightning Energy, Psychic Energy, Fighting Energy, Darkness Energy, Metal Energy. If you do open some packs from Sun and Moon series, you might also open Fairy Energy, but Fairy type has been retired from Sword and Shield onwards. After the basic energy, you'll get three uncommons. The uncommons often include trainer cards, Pokemon cards, and special energy. Finally, you'll receive that code card. These code cards are used on the Pokemon TCG Online client to redeem a corresponding booster pack of the same set that you just opened. While the booster pack you receive will not replicate the same cards, it does still give you a full digital booster pack that can be opened or even traded on the online client. If you watch a lot of YouTube videos of pack openings, or maybe just your friend who likes to crack open packs, you may have noticed that when you open a pack, the order of Pokemon cards in there appear to be a little different. Well, that's likely because what you've seen in those YouTube videos or with your friend is what's known as the pack trick, which is essentially changing the order, rearranging the cards on purpose to put the rare slots at the back. The pack trick explained. If you'd like to replicate the pack trick, then it's pretty simple. When you open a booster pack, make sure to keep the cards facing away from you. Then take the code card out. If you're a YouTuber, show it to your viewers so that one of them may redeem it. And then take the three uncommons and the energy card from the back of the pack and place them at the front instead. It's really that simple. From set to set, the order of the cards can change, but it's not hard to figure it out. This is done to achieve a little suspense and build up while opening packs and can help to make it more exciting, waiting until the last card for the payoff. Normal booster pack order, as I've laid out, is used to keep the rare cards in the center of the pack. This is to help them stay in as pristine condition as possible and limit wear and damage. Different rarities. From set to set, Pokemon introduces different rarities to the mix. Usually, when a new video game is announced, the TCG will reboot and introduce a new base set alongside it. For Pokemon X and Y, we got the XY base set, which introduced Mega Pokemon EX. For Sun and Moon, we got Pokemon GX. And for Sword and Shield, we got Pokemon V. These special Pokemon always feature in the rare slot, while the other rarities can be a little more fluid. The Pokemon Company International doesn't communicate the pull rates on different rarities. And as such, we can't say with any absolute certainty which cards are rarer than others. However, generally speaking, the community consensus is that Pokemon V and VMAX 
appear in roughly one in every three to six packs, depending on how big the set is. Rainbow rares and full arts are around one to two in each booster box, with secret rares appearing around every other box. Sometimes we'll get a set within a set. Most recently, this was the Shiny Vault subset in Hidden Fates, which was listed separately and seeded in booster packs in the parallel hollow slot. We've also seen this before with sets like the Radiant Collection, a small 25 card set that was found within booster packs of black and white legendary treasures. We've covered the essentials of opening modern era Pokemon packs today, but there's a whole world out there of different cards to collect, different foil treatments, and exciting versions of your favorite Pokemon. What set is my card from? There's one more piece of data on the card that's useful though, and that's the set symbol. You might not always open a card from a booster pack, and though knowing the rarities can help, sometimes you'll be stuck on the set symbol. The symbol in the bottom left corner relates to the set it's from. This can be a larger set or a smaller collection, like the McDonald's collection. When buying modern Pokemon products, cards and booster packs will be from one of the named expansion sets. Any promo cards that feature front and center in a product, whether that be a Pokemon V in a tin or an alternate art like Morpeko V, from the Marnie Special Collection are Black Star promo cards. If in doubt, check the symbol. If the symbol is a Black Star, then they're Black Star promos. I go through what's legal and standard in my How to Build a Standard Deck video if you're wanting to play with standard legal cards. But otherwise, knowing how to decipher the symbol is still useful as a collector. There are many great online resources to find out what set your card is from, and the easiest one to read is the one located on justinbasil.com. Head over to the Appendix V page for set abbreviations, and you can see these at a glance run through in reverse chronological order. I hope very much this video has helped you to figure out exactly what you can open in a booster pack of Pokemon cards. Opening a pack of Pokemon cards is always fun, but it doesn't need to be confusing. If you'd like to learn more about the Pokemon trading card game, you can check out my other videos, such as what exactly is a standard Pokemon deck and how to build one, or even just brush up on the rules or learn about Pokemon products here and here. And you, of course, can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a message. What sort of Pokemon video would you like to see from me next? Let me know in the comments below.